Panini will send your Kobe Bryant autograph redemption if they have it. Oh my. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. A Kobe Bryant patch autograph Woo! number four of ten. How is it going everybody and welcome back to my channel, Kobe Cards. Today we have a few more updates around Kobe redemptions. It's really one update if I'm being honest, but there are a few implications to take from it. But if you were sucked in from my opening sentence of this video, it's all true. If, and this is a big if, Kobe signed your specific card, Panini has shown us that they will send it out. I mentioned this in my last video, and I said specifically that if your card was signed by Kobe, especially if on card, there is really nothing they can do besides send it to you, especially from a legal perspective. They can't knowingly not fulfill something that they are fully capable of fulfilling. At that point, they can't resell it or use it for any other purposes because imagine if Panini told you that they can't fulfill your redemption but then a year later you see it on their website and they held it back to make profit for themselves. So that wouldn't happen. Therefore, as I made the pretty logical blanket statement that if they have it, they'll send it, we had some major breaking news this past week. For those of you who get Panini's weekly redemption update newsletter, you may have noticed that this week Panini sent out a ton of Kobe Bryant autographs. For the first time in a very long time, they shipped out Kobe redemptions. So what does this mean? Well, again, it absolutely confirms that if they have your card, they'll send it. Let's dive into the cards they actually sent out though. To begin with, if your card was one of the ones on this list, you likely got an email saying that your package was being delivered. And if you go onto the Panini website and look under your requests, you'd see it updated that it's being shipped out. So if you were one of the holders of a redemption for one of those cards, and I'll put a link to the blog post or PDF if I can in the description, congratulations, because that is awesome for you guys that you're getting your cards. There are two questions, however, that I'm sure you're dying to know the answer to. One, were these cards hand signed or were they sticker autographs? But most importantly, for sure, two, are these the autographs from Kobe's final signing? The answer to number one is that they seem to all be on card, which is awesome. You'd expect them to be on card for most of these because these are mostly sets that had on card autographs to begin with. For example, they finally, after nearly three years, sent out the redemptions for the purple and blue Chronicles autographs from 2017-18 Chronicles. And right here, I'll show you that I have the pink Chronicles and this one I have had for three years. So the one that I have numbered to 25, I've had for a very, very long time. They were all redemptions in this set for Kobe, as you can see from the Panini sticker still at the top, but for some weird reason, he signed the different variations at completely different times. Maybe his signing got cut short or something like that, but he signed the pinks years before he got around to the blues and purples, for example. So they sent out autos, they're on card, Cool beans. That's all well and good. You all could probably have done some eBay searches and figured that out for yourself. However, time for the biggest question of the entire video. Were these the final autographs from his final signing session that they were talking about? In other words, if you are not on the list of cards that were already sent out, does this mean you're not getting your auto and all the Kobe's are out? The answer is no. These were not the autographs from the final signing. Jason, you know who you are out there. Thank you for being the first one to get the answer to that question because that is a big one right there. Also, thank you to absolutely everybody who's been reaching out again. I love that as a community, we can come together to get answers for one another, but that's the truth. These were old autos that Kobe had signed that they had in their warehouse from a previous signing and were finally able to distribute. Now, to build off of this information, what does that tell us? Well, it tells us two things. One, it tells us that we have no idea still what in the world Panini is holding. They could have thousands of stickers for all we know, and none of the cards were actually signed, and they have a major dilemma on their hands. 
Alternatively, they could know full well what they have, but are so far behind that they're spending their time on redemptions that they need to fulfill today versus ones that they can theoretically push off to tomorrow, so are deprioritizing the Kobe situation because they have bigger issues on their hands. Lord knows what that would be. But that just leads us to the second thing, which is Panini is really, 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 really behind on redemptions. We always knew Panini was super slow, but this is just next level slow. Like, I would say that we probably had trouble pinpointing just how slow Panini is. We always just say they are slow, but it's hard to put like an exact date and time to it because everyone's experiences are a little bit different. But in this situation, they're finally getting around to sending out autographs that were likely not just signed in the 2019 calendar year, but probably like eight to 10 months ago. So if it takes them eight to 10 months just to literally print a shipping label on a card that's already in their possession and send it out, I can only imagine why it's taking them so long to figure out what Kobe had signed six months ago. They're just behind, plain and simple. We are able to literally put our finger on it with confidence and say they are super slow with no excuses. Because if he had signed these cards in October of last year, for example, that they just sent out last week, there was no global issues going on at that time. The only issue is just with their speed of their service. Overall though, we answered one question and have one question left. We answered the, will they send the Kobe autos with a yes, but we're left with the, what in the world do they have from his final signing? So that's gonna remain an open question, but I'll transition now because there's one more thing I wanna talk about in this video and I'll bring it up again because I brought it up last time just for a small second if you caught it. But I said that for cards where they issue like a thousand redemptions, they don't have the athlete sign them all at once. Generally, they try to get an idea of how many they need, and that way they don't create any wasted cards or wasted autographs and aren't holding onto autographs that they might not be able to repurpose easily. So think of a good analogy being gift cards. To a company, if they sell a $50 gift card to you, they actually believe they're gonna make a good margin off of it. There are going to be people who lose the gift cards. There's going to be people who, you know, maybe only spend $48 of it or $49 of it and then throw it out because they don't want to hold on to a gift card with a balance of $1 anymore. You get the idea. Apply this to redemptions, though. Companies know that if they place a thousand redemptions in boxes, not all a thousand are going to be redeemed. There's going to be a percentage of the redemptions that will sit in boxes that people hold on to because they believe the boxes themselves will appreciate if unopened. So those redemptions will expire. There's going to be companies that just merely don't sell every single box that they have in time, again, leading to expired codes. Companies could use the packs as products and part of their repacks for later years. Again, more things will expire. There could even be people, again, who simply forget to redeem them or don't want to deal with Panini and can't be bothered. I don't really know how to imagine that scenario, but you never know. Thus, a thousand redemptions placed randomly in a print run of boxes around the world does not yield a thousand requests on Panini's site or any other manufacturer for a thousand to be redeemed once they're found. If it's anything like the gift card business, it could be as much as 25% or more of all redemptions will never be found or redeemed in time. So if you're a card manufacturer, you're not going to bring a thousand Kobe cards to a Kobe signing. That would be a waste of his time and yours when he could sign maybe 500 of them up front and then 500 for a different product that you plan on releasing in a later time and then maybe go back to him at some point later if you need to do any catch up and have him sign maybe 150 more if there end up being 650 of the thousand that get found in time. Okay, so why am I bringing this up again? Well, I guess I never truly read through those weekly redemption posts. I guess they seemed pretty straightforward, so why bother reading the fine print? But I found this gem right in front of me. These weekly reports often include rebatched redemptions, cards from widely broken products that have been previously redeemed but required subsequent shipments due to high volume. In some cases, the cards listed have been fulfilled with replacement cards. There you go. Exactly that point. So let's say they only had 500 signatures from Kobe, but 600 of the 1,000 popped up. They might go to Kobe at a later date to get the remaining 100 they need to fulfill. Or, in some cases, as they mention, 
depending on when they think they'll be able to meet with that player next or how long it would take, they may come back and just offer you a replacement card instead of you having to wait for Kobe's next signing. And therefore, they would actually need to get less than 600, really however many they need for the people who want to wait for it. You may be asking again, why are you bringing this up in a redemption video? I don't want to be educated on the process. Tell me how it relates to today. Okay, well, here's how it fits in. Remember, the card I submitted was a Donruss Signature Series card, not numbered, large print run. I submitted it after he passed. See where I'm going with this? If they don't plan ahead fully for the redemptions they insert in the boxes, there is a chance that, especially for the products with large print runs and no numbering, they may not have thought far enough ahead and wanted to wait for the numbers to trickle in to get a sense of what they really needed to fulfill before asking Kobe to sign those cards. In other words, I would not be surprised if there's a low likelihood that my specific redemption is able to get fulfilled because of the simple fact that sometimes they do it in batches and they didn't even know that they needed to fulfill mine before Kobe passed. So how could they have possibly taken into account my card before he passed, given, again, I submitted my redemption after he passed. That's a problem. Unless in his final signing, he signs stickers or cards in anticipation of future demand, it is likely that there will be a handful of people that will be disappointed very soon. How big is that handful? I don't know. I really hope I'm wrong and I really hope we all get something from Panini and that maybe Panini digs through their inventory and can find more stuff that they can give out as a replacement and it's also Kobe, but I don't know. That's the simple answer. But I can tell you that probability says that I would be more in trouble because I have something from a large print run. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video here. That's going to be it for today's update and I'll continue to provide more news and updates as I get them. Again, thank you so much to everyone who reached out. I continue to urge everyone to reach out to me or leave me a comment with your experiences or updates so I can share them with everyone. And definitely, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and follow along my journey to pay tribute to the life and career of Kobe Bryant and to keep updated with this series too. We are actually getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers, which is just insane and awesome and exciting. So thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. And if you are not, thank you for watching and for the consideration. Thank you so much again to everyone, and I will see you next time.